Hi, I'm RJ Suko, Director of Public Works for the Town of Corte Madera. The video you are about to see was created as part of the Town of Corte Madera's shoreline adaptation engagement effort in spring 2024 to help the community visualize flooding hazards in the shoreline area. The video and companion online tool were developed by Virtual Planet, which has produced similar tools for Stinson Beach, Santa Cruz, and other cities across the country. The visualizations use data from the U.S. Geological Survey's Coastal Storm Modeling System, also known as COSMOS, to show flooding vulnerabilities that exist today from high tides plus storm surge combinations in shoreline neighborhoods and the surrounding area. These visualizations are not a complete picture of the flood risk as they do not model the additional impacts of storm water runoff. We hope you enjoy the video and encourage you to get involved to help shape the future of Corte Madera shoreline. Welcome to Corte Madera, a community of about 10,000 people nestled between beautiful Mount Tamalpais and the San Francisco Bay. The town is surrounded by marshes, vital ecosystems which support local flora and fauna and provide protection to shoreline neighborhoods by reducing wave impacts. Corte Madera was originally home to the Coast Miwok people, who have been stewards of the land for thousands of years. The town was incorporated in 1916 and grew rapidly after World War II, with multiple new residential subdivisions created by filling in marshlands. Due to their construction over bay mud, these neighborhoods have subsided two to four feet since construction and are continuing to sink as the weight of earth fill, roads, and homes compresses the bay mud and former marsh solids. This low-lying area is vulnerable to flooding due to multiple causes. King tides, the highest tides of the year, often cause streets and backyards to flood in the Mariner Cove neighborhood. Heavy rain events also contribute to flooding, especially when they occur at the same time as high tides, which can prevent storm water from draining to the bay. Over time, land subsidence, also called settlement, and sea level rise are increasing the flood risk that these neighborhoods face. If no action is taken, shoreline neighborhoods such as Mariner Cove and Marina Village will be increasingly vulnerable to flooding over time. This is a 3D model of Corte Madera's shoreline neighborhoods. Here you can see the Mariner Cove and Marina Village neighborhoods, which are separated by San Clemente Creek. You can also see Paradise Shopping Center and the Cove Elementary School. U.S. Highway 101 runs to the west. There are over 500 homes in these neighborhoods. Here's the area that a 100-year flood could cover today. This kind of flood has a 1% chance of happening every year, or a 26% chance during a 30-year mortgage. However, with king tides already flooding some streets, even smaller storms combined with high tides, subsidence, and or sea level rise could have serious impacts in these neighborhoods. Let's go to a bird's eye view to understand what this means. From this view, you can see Marina Village, which is currently protected by previously constructed flood berms. The lowest known berm elevation is 8.3 feet, while many of the streets and properties behind the berms, including portions of Highway 101, are at six feet or lower elevation, putting them at risk of flooding if the berms fail or are overtopped. At King Tides today, the marshes to the north of Marina Village are filled with water, but the existing berms prevent this water from flowing into the neighborhood. However, if a 20-year storm surge were to occur during a King Tide, the berms overtop, causing the entire area to flood and impacting dozens of homes and businesses, as well as local and regional roads. Even low areas of Highway 101 would be underwater. Marina Village is vulnerable to this level of flooding today, and the risk is predicted to increase as severe storms and higher tides become more frequent due to our changing climate. Now let's take a look at the Mariner Cove neighborhood. From this view, you can see Mariner Cove and the Cove Elementary School. The Mariner Cove neighborhood sits several feet higher in elevation than Marina Village, and most homes and streets in this area range from 8 to 11 feet in elevation. Lower elevations are present along the waterfront, including at the sanitary sewer pump station, which is 7.2 feet in elevation at its concrete base. King tides already impact the neighborhood, 
flooding some streets every year. The water level that we see during a king tide today could become a daily occurrence with 1.6 feet of relative sea level rise. Adding a 20-year storm surge event on top of a king tide increases flooding on Golden Hind Passage and nearby streets. A 100-year storm surge would result in even more flooding in the area. So what can we do to protect Corte Madera's shoreline from these scenarios? Let's explore some adaptation strategies. Elevating homes can limit property damage from intermittent flooding that may occur in these neighborhoods. This adaptation strategy is already happening in Mariner Cove and Marina Village, usually during major renovations of existing residences. Upgrading our storm drain infrastructure is an adaptation strategy that can help mitigate flooding by efficiently carrying stormwater runoff out of these neighborhoods. Upgrades and improvements are being studied by the town as part of the storm drain master plan update. Another adaptation strategy could involve boosting our existing flood defenses, like reinforcing and raising the existing flood berm that shields Marina Village. The town is committed to working with residents and other stakeholders impacted by flooding to develop a community vision for shoreline adaptation. Starting in fall 2023, the town initiated a community engagement project called the Shoreline Adaptation Engagement Effort to provide information about current and future flood vulnerabilities and listen to the ideas, hopes, concerns, and needs of all shoreline residents and stakeholders. Join us to work together to build a resilient and sustainable future for our community. Visit our website to learn more and get involved. Thank you for watching the Shoreline Flood Explorer, Corte Madera.